Hello everyone, this is Stephanie. Haven't seen you guys for a little while. I have several weeks work trip in Sydney, and I just back home currently. On the work trip in Sydney, I wear this makeup look every day. So today I'll be sharing you guys how I did this khaki makeup look. If you are interested in, please keep on watching. Okay, let's start it. I normally start my makeup base by using my favorite Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. As the season change and my skin color tone has changed, so um, I normally use like 2C1 Pure Beige, but now my skin color tone has a little bit changed. So I just uh, grab a tester and now I'm using the new shade one neutral two so this is my new shade my skin color has turned a little bit lighter as the winter is coming I really enjoy wearing this foundation. This helps the makeup stay all day long. And even after 10 hours, your skin still feel the comfort of wearing this foundation. And it's really helped the makeup stays all day long. I think people who has combination skin like me will really enjoy this foundation. And for concealer, I'm using my favorite concealer from Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. So I just, uh, I just use this concealer. As I only use this concealer for my under eye area. I only use this concealer for my under eye and for my eyelid as a eye makeup primer as you may see my skin my current like currently my skin is alright so I didn't have any any skin issue so I only using this concealer for my under eye brightening and also for my eyelid as um eye makeup primer for the makeup setting powder i'm using one of my favorite kvd vegan beauty locket setting powder to set up the makeup base i feel it's really comfort to using a larger size brush to set up the makeup base Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Powder Dew and I'm using this cooler tone shade as a brow base just to simply, simply follow my natural brow shape and fill in it's like quite natural kind of feeling. And then using the darker shader to give it a better defined and definition. Simply draw a line to give the brow a better defined look. Can you see the difference? Using the darker shade to give it a um, more defined look. And at the end, give a little bit of extension. It's about that. Oh, 
how does the bone turn natural brow for today's look so i gave it a really really natural and soft finish so i just want a chill kind of okay i brown the bra like that something like that and that's the final bra look for eyeshadow i'm using huda beauty highest obsession collection and today i'm using khaki palette to achieve the makeup look all the shades are quite neutral earthy pinky and khaki yeah so i mean it's quite wearable and you can achieve several different eye makeup looks by using this palette. I'm using this light neutral pinky shade for my eyelid. The color is quite pay off. I'm using this light khaki shade. And then I'm using this light khaki shade. And blend it for like a transition shade as well. And blind those two shades together. Also using this one as an under eye shadow. So using this khaki shade as an under eye eyeshadow, but give a give a wing, and also for my under eye eyeshadow by using the same light khaki shade for the wing. And also for my under eye eyeshadow, the same light khaki shade for the wing, and also for the under eye eyeshadow color. And then using my favorite NARS eyeliner. So give a little bit wing at the end. And then you using a dry brush to brush the eyeliner. And for the finest part of this eye look is using this shimmer cocky shade to highlight the eyes and I find that when using the shimmer shade it's better to use your finger than a brush I'll just grab this shade and put it on my eyelid and using, your f and using my finger to put this shade on my eyelid I find it's quite easier and more color payoff when you're using your finger rather than a brush to, to do the shimmer shade. Maybe I just give a little bit more. So a little bit for the inner corner. A little bit this golden pinky shade as the inner corner for the inner corner Just like that I'm using this Urban Decay mascara I'm 
really loving this mascara for people like me who don't like to wear false lashes. This is a lifesaver. Oh, by the way, if you really enjoy those kind of earthy, pinky, neutral, khaki eye makeup look, it's really a good time to go and grab this palette because currently it's like a um, half price sale for this palette. Just to let you know in case you want to grab it. Okay, let's do the face makeup. I'm using NARS Laguna. Laguna is still one of my favorite bronzer. It has a quite neutral bronzy tone and I reckon this shade is quite universal. I use this Laguna shade for nose contour and this shade is quite neutral and universal. I'm also using this one as a contour and also a bronzer. Using my favorite Zoeva contour brush to do the face contour and bronze. I'm really a huge fan of this NARS Laguna bronzer. I've been using this for years and I've tried a lot of different bronzer. NARS Laguna is still one of my favorite bronzer. For everyday makeup look. I'm really a huge fan of this NARS Laguna shade. For the blush, I'm using one of my favorite NARS blush and in the shade Dusty Vita. It's a perfect rosy blush for everyday look. It's a perfect rosy blush for everyday look. And I think it's one of the most popular blush shade in the NARS collection. This Dusty Weta blush goes really well with this khaki eye makeup look. For the highlighter, I'm using NARS 40 France. It's a universal champion shade. I think it suits for everyone. You can see how much I'm loving this highlighter. It's already hit the pen. So I just grab a little for highlighter my nose. Just grab a little to highlight my cheekbones. I think this shade is quite universal. It's a perfect golden champagne for everyone. Highlight my brow bones a bit here. A little bit of my chin. For lipsticks, I'm using Bobbi Brown Neutral Rose. This is a quite a neutral, everyday, pinky, rosy tone. Last but not least, don't forget to wear your favorite perfume. Today I'll be wearing Coach Flora. Yeah, that's how I did this khaki makeup look. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel. I really appreciate your effort and support. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.